Okay, we're in Microsoft Excel and we want to create automatic borders as we type into cells. So I've got my column headings here already. And what we're going to do is use conditional formatting to achieve this. And we're going to have to write a formula for the conditional formatting. Now, temporarily, I'm going to create the formula in my sheet and then we'll copy and paste that into the conditional formatting. Now, the formula I'm going to use is going to utilize the OR function, and the OR function allows you to run multiple tests if any of the tests are met or returns true. So my first test would be, is cell A3 not equal to an empty text string? So this is the comparison operator for not equal to, less than, and then greater than, no space between, and this is what's called an empty text string, two double inverted commas, nothing in between. So basically I'm saying, is the cell not empty? Then I need to do the same test on B3, and then the same test on C3, and then close the bracket. So you'll need to do that for each column within your data. Now, when we write a formula for conditional formatting, it gets copied across and down all the cells that we've selected. Now, we always want these rules to apply to column A, B, and C. And for that reason, we need to lock the letter in each of these cell addresses. And we do that by using dollars. So I'm putting a dollar before the A, dollar before the B, and a dollar before the C. Now, if I press enter, you can see at the moment it's returning false because all of these cells are empty. But if I type a value in any of these cells, it will now return true. So what we can do, if I just delete that five, is copy this formula. So I've selected the formula and now I'm using control C to copy it and press enter to confirm. We can then get rid of that formula in the sheet. I'm then going to select all the cells that I want to apply the conditional formatting to. So I've selected that first row there, and now I'm gonna use Control Shift down arrow key, and that will select down to the bottom of the sheet. Control Backspace will get me back up to the top of the sheet. Then I'm gonna to go to conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And I'm gonna click in this box and paste in my formula, Control V. Then I go to the Format button. I go to the Borders tab, and I'm gonna select Outline. Click on OK, click on OK. So now let's see if it works. So if I type in my name, you can see I get borders around the cells in that row, but I can type a value into any column, and it's gonna format that entire row with borders. Now there is a second way we can achieve this, and this method uses Excel tables. So I've got my column headings. What I would do is I'd click into one of the column headings and use this shortcut key, Control T. In this dialog box, you need to tick this option, My Table as Headers, because we do, and then click on OK. You'll see you get a Table Design tab on your ribbon. If you go to this button, Quick Styles, and then clear the existing table format. Then go back to that button and click on new table style. Make sure whole table is selected. Go to format, click on this border tab, click on the outline button and then the inside button and click on OK and then click on OK again. Now, if you click back on this quick styles button, you'll see that there's a custom table style here, which you need to click on. And now you'll get borders around each row that you use. So for example, this row already has borders. But if I create a new row and I type in the age column, you can see it automatically gets borders. Now you get these drop down menu buttons when you're using tables. If you don't want them, click back in your table, go to the table design tab. You can untick this filter option here. You will see this blue little handle here, and that just shows the bottom right hand corner of the table. And in fact, what you can do is drag that border down and it will apply borders to those other rows. You can also drag it up 
to get rid of the borders. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.